Hey guys, this is the Jane Eden, and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself today and why I'm here. So I'm a mother of three children, and uh, one of the things that has progressively driven me more and more crazy is that the things that are most readily available to me, the things that are most convenient, and the things that are least expensive are things that I don't necessarily want to buy for various reasons. There are products that have ingredients that I don't think are very healthy for me or my family. There's food that the nutrients have been completely hybridized and bred out of that I don't want to really feed my family. There are a lot of things that I think are really in my face that I don't want to participate in. I would like to make choices for my family that are as healthy as possible and I think that we can all say that for the most part that we want to make healthy choices for our family. So one of the things that I'm going to do here is talk to you about sustainable practices. And when I say sustainable, it's not just environmentally. I think that we, uh, we can expand sustainable to mean a lot of different things. So sustainable in terms of environmental practices, yeah, absolutely. But also in terms of the way that we treat each other and the way that our decision making and product buying impacts other people on this planet. So um, one of the things that I'll focus on primarily is how you can bring really sustainable buying into your family's home. And uh, I wanna give you some information that'll be useful for you in doing that. So that'll be my primary aim. Now I have a lot of different interests, like a huge broad range of interests, just about everything in this world absolutely amazes me, leaves me in awe. I love so many different things and I would love to talk to you about so many different things, but I'll try and hone down, keep it uh, centralized to that theme, but I am going to branch out into some other things over time and uh, so I really invite you to come back and check that out. It's going to be really exciting. I have, uh, I have a lot of really cool things to talk to you about, but what I uh, am going to focus in on right now is telling you about me. And uh, so for anyone who's interested, mother of three children, and uh, I had my first child, uh, my eldest son, when I was fairly young, and it's created this crazy, difficult, but amazing path in life, and, uh, and one that's enlightened me uh, and really expanded my compassion, not just uh, for the people who are in my sort of immediate circle, but for the world in general. And uh, so I, you know, have to give a lot of thanks to my son who has really grown my heart in, in a lot of ways and, uh, and been part of why I'm on the path that I'm on. So uh, I'm also a wife to an incredible man. I uh, spent a lot of years in a really uh, absolutely awful and abusive relationship. And uh, so now when I say I have a really good husband, it means you know something pretty profound to me. I have uh, an amazing husband who uh, really demonstrates what unconditional love is. So I'm really fortunate. I have uh, a beautiful family, but we have a crazy life. Let me tell you, having three children, it is absolutely insane. And I wouldn't have it any other way. I love it when it's busy. Uh, I make it busy and I realize that. I make our lives busy because I like it that way. Um, so, you know, on top of the various things that five individuals can have going on in their own individual lives and our relationships and all of that good stuff, uh, I'm also a student. I'm in university right now. I'm working on my honors and, uh, and I have been for a long time and it's going to be a little bit of a trek more, but um, my education has always been extremely, extremely important to me and I've had to fight uh, tooth and nail for it sometimes and uh, that's something that I'll hopefully get a chance to talk about a little bit more because I I feel like uh, you know educating mothers is an incredibly important issue and something that I want to explore with you guys a little bit more and uh, and talk about how you can maybe uh, facilitate your own learning and education if you're a mother with little kids it can be incredibly difficult and you can feel like the, the world really isn't supporting you in it and you're entirely on your own sometimes and um, I definitely know what that feels like to be 
you know, in, in the depths of misery sometimes and completely alone and trying to plug away at your education and working 60 hour weeks to be able to afford to go to school and then not having the time for school because you're working so much. It's an amazing struggle, but it's so important to stick with it. And I can tell you I have, I'm still at it, and I'm gonna keep going because my my personal education is that important to me. So, um, so I'm a student, I'm also a volunteer, a community volunteer. I do a number of things in my own community. And uh, one of the most important things that I do is work with women who have come from situations of abuse. So I will talk about that from time to time and I'm not gonna, um, I'm not going to go down that road too, too much. Uh, first of all, for confidentiality reasons, I don't wanna talk about my work in a way that's going to expose anybody there. But um, I would definitely invite you to uh, get in touch with me if you do want to talk about uh, anything in in that area. I'm absolutely very open to hearing it and to pointing you towards resources if uh, if you should need it. Um, so that's one of the uh, another one of my passions, I would say. And I actually just came today from. Uh, a visit with one of the women that I've been working with for quite some time now and uh, I I said to her recently you know here's a woman who has you know three little kids and who's gone through things that you just can't imagine and and uh, every single day has this strength that carries her and her children into these amazing experiences and every time I leave I just you know I want to cry I feel so much love for this woman and uh, it's uh, you know volunteering in your community can really get you in touch with some amazing amazing people so I mean if you're thinking about volunteering if you don't know how to sort of break into it or um, you know, you don't feel like you necessarily have something specific to offer to the organization that you want to work with or uh, whatever the issue is. Again, post your comments. I'd love to hear them and I'd love to have a chance to respond to. But um, if you're thinking about volunteering, just go out and do it. Just, um, you know, find an organization that's doing something that you believe in or that strikes a chord with you and try it out for a little bit, at least give it a probationary period, you know, of a few months and uh, and see if you can do it, if it's manageable. We're all so busy these days, you know, it's not always possible to um, dedicate a whole lot of time and if time is an issue, you can always find organizations who will say to you, you know, we know that life's busy so you can do an hour a week and an hour a week is nothing, believe me, I have just the we have the craziest schedules honestly but an hour two hours a week is so easy to fit in and it's really important the difference that makes in uh, in other people's lives is amazing so get out volunteer for sure so um yeah volunteering is something that i've done from a very young age and uh, and will continue to do my my life over but uh Another one of the things that I've been doing my entire life and one of the ways that I define myself is as a writer and uh, that came out of a lot of pain for me. I'll just tell you a really brief little story here to try and keep this segment um, you know, from getting too long but um, when I was in eighth grade I went from being one of the most popular girls to the that girl who's absolutely hated and most girls have gone through this experience not everybody has and I, I get that but most girls have gone through this thing where it's like you're on the in and all of a sudden you're on the outs and you're being made fun of and um, you know there's usually a core group of girls who's making fun of you making your life absolutely hell and I had that happen to me and uh, at the time, you know, I just, I didn't understand. It was so painful. I I literally had no friends. I went from being so social to having no friends at all, no one to go to, no one to talk to, no one would spend any time with be, me. And on top of that, they were doing really cruel things, really hurtful things, saying awful things. And um, 
it was during that time that I started to write and I don't know where it came from. Um, this is uh, how old I am, but our, <laughs> our school had just brought in computers. It was the very first computer lab that our school had had. So you actually had access to computers, which is, you know, so cool that, ooh, you got to actually go on a computer. And uh, now, now my son thinks that there was never a time without iPods. Just tells you a little bit of something about technology, right? But um, you know, at that time, I I just went in and I needed a place to go on, uh, you know, recess and lunch breaks where I wasn't going to be harassed or. Uh, hurt or chased or you know all the various things that they were doing and so I went and I, I sat at these computers and there wasn't anything that you could do except for write I mean there weren't even games on these computers so I started writing and uh, it came out of pain but it really put me in touch with a, a creative spark that was in me that nothing else had really been able to bring out. Um, you know, I've I played music all of my life, but I just never felt about it the way that I feel about writing. And so, I uh, that same year I won an award and was published. And you know, when the universe gives you positive reinforcement like that, you roll with it. So. I've written ever since and uh, you know I wrote a lot of different things and uh, I'm really into freelancing and uh, I love editing like really completely dry boring stuff that nobody else really seems to like but um, I also write on uh, a variety of topics so I'll probably talk about that from time to time as well. But uh, anyway, that's a little bit about me and uh, I might do a little follow up because uh, it's very easy for me to do this. And uh, again, don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out and uh, let me know if you have any questions, anything that you want me to check out for you. I'm happy to do that and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.